really, really desperate, you may just tell them, we're going to install a modem for your TV. Remember, we're talking to seniors here. Most of them don't know what's going on. A CBC Go Public investigation this week revealed just how far some Rogers employees say they're expected to go to make a sale. We're expected to upsell to mention a feature product that you know, we're doing a promotional offer on or try to you know, get them to take on an additional service. That same message came through in dozens of interviews with Rogers employees and customers who say they feel pressured into services they don't need. He knew that when I phoned him, and then he talked for an hour and, and sold me all of this stuff, and uh, I ended up without getting, without getting a discount. The examples echo what some Bell employees and those working for Canada's big banks told GoPublic last year. What's all this revealing about the corporate culture in Canada's biggest companies? GoPublic's Erica Johnson has reported on these stories. So Erica, I know every time you do one of these stories, you get a tsunami of response. It happened again this week. So what more have you learned? Well, again this week, as you say, just more and more Rogers employees contacting us, people who work for Rogers call centers themselves in the big centers like uh, Ottawa and Brampton, and also who handle uh, Rogers customers in the third party suppliers. Those tend to be out east, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, all of them saying they're under incredible pressure to meet these very high sales targets. And we even heard from a former manager at Rogers Ottawa call center who said there was a directive called uh, protect the tops, meaning the top sellers, uh, turn a blind eye if they're being unethical when they are making those sales because it's good for the bottom line. Now, there are going to be people out there who say, oh, come on, CBC, like aggressive sales has been around since the beginning of time. That's what these people are there to do. They're trying to sell you. We know that when we're on the phone. What is this that, that moves it beyond that? Well, I think there is a difference between selling, and these are sales representatives, and unethical selling. So there's a difference if you go into a burger joint and they say, do you want fries with that? Yes, they are upselling you, but you know that that's happening and you have the choice. What we're hearing is sales reps who say they're under incredible pressure to do things that are unethical, to make those targets, because every month when they meet their targets, they say often they will then be increased for the, the, the next period and then increased again. So they're selling things like computers to elderly people, or they're selling internet, I should say, to elderly people who don't have computers. Um, we heard a story of uh, someone who said she was blind and couldn't use the internet and she was still sold the internet. So uh, these are very disturbing sales tactics that we're hearing about. It's not your you know, run of the mill sales. And as we mentioned, I mean, this is Rogers this week. It's been Bell before, it's been the big banks. I mean, we're talking about the largest companies in this country. So what does it tell us then about the corporate culture there? Well, it seems to be that there is a real disconnect between uh, the message at the corporate level at all of these corporations and what's actually happening on the ground floor. So all of these companies have very strict codes of conduct that they expect their employees to follow. They're not supposed to misrepresent. They can't fudge on contract details or omit important facts. But then when it comes down to the nuts and bolts of it on the floor, the call workers say that those uh, codes of ethics go out the window. Someone described them as being created by fairy dust because they're just not followed. So whether that message gets up to the top or not you know, remains to be investigated because uh, certainly all of the companies tell us that they don't tolerate this behavior. Yeah, it's true. I mean, I think that's where the disconnect is, is the company saying, no, this is not the, the rules that we give our employees. And yet your reporting shows this also isn't an occasional lapse we're hearing about. So what is it going to take to get corporate Canada to realize this is not what people want when they are consumers? Well, it's interesting. We spoke to some labor experts and they said that certainly a lot of what we're hearing is unethical. Uh, very hard, though, to prove that much is illegal. And so they said in terms of a recourse, employees can speak out, uh, you know, if they are concerned about these sales targets, although folks we've talked to said that they feel that they can't and that those who do get shown the door very quickly. Um, you can, uh, if you are put on a performance improvement plan to sell more and then you don't meet your target and you're laid off, you could 
try to file for what's called constructive dismissal, meaning the environment was just uh, so untenable that you could no longer work there. But really what they say is needed to have a shift in this corporate culture is what's happening right now. People coming forward, sharing their stories, and seeing a sort of public shaming. But that is often when we see corporations move, when they don't want any more consumer blowback. So I guess they need to go public. I'll say it if you won't. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Go public at cbc.ca. We're standing by to take your call on any uh, cell phone provider. Thanks, Erica. Good to talk to you.